This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity Podcast. Today's discussion is three financial tips for entrepreneurs and founders. So, so, so here's the discussion today. Um, three concepts for entrepreneurs and founders, um, some of which will be very popular with people. It'll resonate with people. Others, it will not do so much, but, but we'll talk about three. First is, in terms of your portfolio, your allocation going forward, once you've sold part of your company, even if you haven't, the whole concept is if you have a lot of equity risk in your company, you want to bias your own savings, your own market allocations to lower risk stuff versus higher risk stuff. For me, that's traditionally meant a ton of treasuries to go with S&P indexes. So that's number one thought is don't be afraid to bias yourself in a way that's comfortable for you, and it actually takes it into account all the equity risk you might still have in whatever business you have. The second core concept is that we look at investing, and we take it as, as the sort of given that almost none of us, unless we have inside information which is illegal, can beat the market by buying individual stocks versus index funds. So we heavily bias towards index funds. For me, it's the S&P 500 and Vanguard, low cost. I get the whole market. For everybody that tells me they're brilliant and they bought Apple early, they may have, but they're almost never talking to you about all the things that have not gone right. You just have so little real knowledge of what's going on. I'd rather buy the market through S&P 500 index for that part of my portfolio than buy individual stocks. That's our strong bias and thought there. The, um, a great book called Black Edge on Insider Trading about Stephen Cohn and, and his SAC Capital Management gives this great glimpse of how different people are playing the game than you and I. We are so far behind the information that the professionals have, that the cheating insider traders have, that everybody else has, that I think you're far better off buying the index funds than buying individual stocks. So that's number two. The third and fourth concepts, I'll go with three and four. There'll be a, a bonus one here today because I said three tips, but of course got started and wanted to bifurcate part of the first two. The third concept is de-risk when you can. Nobody ever went broke leaving the blackjack table early or, or, or taking somebody off the table when you can. The world is fraught with people that kept all their money in their company, and then at some point their company went the wrong direction or something bad happened. There are so many things you don't control. It's called this concept of the black swan. So many things you just don't have control over that we're a huge fan of de-risk when you can. The fourth concept, and I'll call this a PS, I could continue to call this three concepts, three key financial concepts today, is pay down debt when you can. You know, all the brilliant people that don't have money talk about, oh, a mortgage debt is great because it gives me the chance to take a tax deduction. Or they say, yeah, you should borrow and buy stocks on margin because you know, you're paying 5 or 6%, or maybe you're using a home equity loan to do it, and the market over time is going to go up 8 to 10%. Yes and no. We believe in never buy stocks on margin and pay down every bit of debt when you can and as you can, as long as you're balancing that with an emergency fund and investing in your portfolio. But long term, debt kills, it kills companies, it kills family, it kills nations. We think being low on debt is a winning strategy for the long run. Thank you for listening to this version of the Becker Private Equity Podcast. And thank you to our remarkable, pro pro remarkable producer, Chanel Bunger, for being with us today. Again, three financial tips for the founder entrepreneur. These are probably good for a lot of people. Um, indexes versus individual stocks de-risk when you can, pay down debt, um, have a portfolio that works for you and accounts for the fact that you still have money probably tied up in the equity of your business. So that means your real equity portfolio balance is far different than what your financial advisor will tell you it is. So you have to account for the fact of whatever equity you've got in your, your business as real equity too. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity Podcast. And again, thank you to Chanel Bunker.